Are you ready? Are you ready? Because it's happening. <laughs> Splat! Time for the Friday Night News Dump. Producer Julia Nutter, who was playing this evening? Tonight we've got Su Han from Carmel, Indiana. He immigrated to the U.S. from South Korea at age 10. Yeah. He grew up in Amish country in Pennsylvania, and he's a high school orchestra teacher. Oh, Su, it's very, very nice to meet you. Thank you for being here. Hello, I'm freaking out. This is awesome <laughs> and a dream come true. So nice to see you. I have to ask you about the orchestra teacher part. Even though everything I've just learned about you is fascinating. Um, <laughs> How many of the instruments in the orchestra can you personally play in order to like um, have the kids, enough. you know, confidence? <laughs> can you play and, like um, the viola and I everything? Have to, I have to play enough to teach. Um, my uh, advanced orchestra students kind of cringe when I start reaching for an instrument to play for them. <laughs> and so, um, but enough to teach them and uh, they're amazing kids. So I need to do very little. Well, that's awesome. I was in orchestra when I was in junior high and it was really fun um, until all the kids in the band, which was a much more bullying culture, picked up our orchestra teacher's car and put it on the tennis court. They physically oh picked God. it up and put it on the tennis court and he couldn't get it out. And it was very sad and that was the end of it. I love you even more I, now that I know that you were an orchestra. <laughs> I didn't know that. What did you play? I played everything poorly. Anyway, I got to tell, all right, uh, you know how this works. Three questions. Yes. If you get two of them right, uh, you will win, Julia? This very fancy mini cocktail shaker. Woohoo! Um, and if you get all of the questions right, or if you don't really get very many right at all, but you need extra credit um, or a consolation prize, we, we do have something that we found in our office, but tonight it's a little weird. Julia, what is tonight's random swag? So Sue has two options. Okay. You can take these little action figures that you used to have on your desk at Air America. Yeah, they're, me they're Mexican wrestlers. Yeah, they're, they're little... very poorly made and they're a little dirty. They have a little, this one has a little cape. Yeah. It's cool. Okay. Um, otherwise, Sue can also have these um, posters that we made as props during the government shutdown in 2013. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sue, I will tell you, even though the, the signs, the, the props aren't awesome, one of them does have a really nice T-square attached to the back of it, a little this piece of hardware, <laughs> which you would also get to keep oh, if you pick that one. All right. Uh, we also need to bring in the disembodied voice of Steve Bennon from Matoblog. Steve determines if you get the right answer. Steve, meet Sue. Sue, meet Steve. Good evening to you both. Good evening. Good Very evening. Good. Love Thank your you, article, Steve. Steve. Yay! Thank you. <laughs> All right, um, Sue, so first question. Here we go. We're going to get right to it. Monday show, we described a brand new Gallup poll, which asked people what they think is the most important problem facing the country today. In that Gallup poll, what did the highest number of respondents identify as the most important problem that our country has right now? Was it government. A, the threat of terrorism, B, income inequality, C, the government, or D, the zombie apocalypse? <laughs> um, I wish it was D, but it's not. It's C, the government. Steve, did Sue get that right? Let's check the segment from Monday's show. The highest percentage of respondents say that biggest problem in the country is the government. The correct answer is C, <laughs> and Sue is one for one. All right. Well done. You're 100% so far. We're going to go to question two. Uh, we have had an eye on the U.S. nuclear negotiations with Iran all week. Uh, I should say happy Iranian New Year, by the way. Um, on last night's show, we did report that as the Iranian nuclear talks are getting down to the nitty gritty, another U.S. official has recently been seen at the talks taking a leading role alongside Secretary of State John Kerry. Who is that other U.S. official who's suddenly very visible in those talks? Is it A, Attorney General Eric Holder, B, Energy Secretary Ernest Moniz, C, Vice President Joe Biden, or D, Vice President Emeritus Dick Cheney? I was traveling yesterday, and yesterday's show was the only show that I missed. Oh. Uh, I'm just going to pick my favorite person of that list and say C, Vice President Joe Biden. Steve, what's the right answer? Well, let's check the segment from last night. All of a sudden, we're not just seeing John Kerry leading things for the U.S. Now, who's that guy on the left? Now we're seeing the only man in U.S. government with hair better than John Kerry's hair, also involved at the top level. Our energy secretary, who is himself a nuclear physicist, Ernest Moniz. Yes, I'm afraid Mr. Cheney is not involved and Mr. <laughs> Biden is not involved, but Mr. Moniz is. And the correct answer was B, and Sue is not correct. All right, Sue, you totally had a good reason for missing yes. that one. You get one, yes. you get one last chance. Okay. Uh, now, this one is a visual one. So we've never okay. done this before. I hope it works. Tuesday's show. We reported uh, on Republican Aaron Schock 
and his somewhat shocking resignation from Congress uh, in the face of lots of questions about his finances, particularly related to his travel. One of the things that reporters have used to track Aaron Schock's travel spending is the congressman's rather legendary Instagram account, which he now seems to have deleted, I should mention. Um, but before he deleted it, we were able to capture some of it. Which of these images of Congressman Aaron Schock was not an image from his Instagram account? Oof. Was it A, this one, which makes him look like an extra from Magic Mike? Uh, was it B, this one, which shows him surfing in Hawaii? Was it C, this one, which shows him, I don't know, maybe ice climbing or something? I don't know. Or was it D, this one, which shows him inexplicably being shaved by another dude? Which one of those was not from his Instagram account? Oh my gosh, this is tough. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to say A, because I think the A was um, a, a shoot from a magazine uh, that cover that he did, not his Instagram. Steve, do you have the answer for us? Well, it's a segment from Tuesday, Chef. Okay. And also a famous star turn. Yes, that's him on the cover of Men's Health. Congressman, really? So the A was the magazine cover photo, just like Sue said, and he is correct. Sue, not only did you get that right, but you got exactly the trick of it right. That was spectacular. Julia, did Sue win the cocktail shaker? Yes, Sue yes. wins the cocktail shaker. And because you had Woo. not only the right answer, but you had the right explanation, do you want either of the other sort of cruddy items that we found in our office? Oh, I would love both. I used to listen to you on Air America oh, uh, when one. you first came on. Thank you. Um, <laughs> but uh, just so that I can hang it up for the entire world to see, I'm going to choose the sign. Rachel, can I please ask you to sign it before I get it? Oh, yeah. I will sign your sign. Big time. Absolutely. And we'll send you the T-square. We'll even throw in a few more of these signs <laughs> if you wish. Sue, thank you so much for playing. It was great to meet you. If you want to talk you about too. the viola clef, Anytime. I am available at any time. Thanks, Sue. Great. Thanks. Thank you. Yay! That was great. If you want to play the most awesome game in basic cable news, or rather the only one, uh, send us an email, rachel at msnbc.com. All you have to tell us is who you are, where you're from, and why you want to play the news dump. The stuff we're finding around the office is getting weirder and weirder all the time, but it could be yours. First, though, I'm told the warden wants to see you.